here at the Champions of the Undead Grand Finals presented by Zero Latency VR here in Las Vegas. Three finalists flew in going head to head, battling for that $15,000 prize. Who's going to be our champion? Our finalists have arrived and got a proper introduction at the opening ceremony. And I had the opportunity to talk about my Zero Latency VR experience. Big thank you to Zero Latency VR for bringing me out here. I've been gaming since I was a little girl and playing this was one of the best experiences I've had gaming in such a long time. I was screaming, I was sweating, I was laughing, and honestly, the videos do not do it justice. When you're in there, there's no wires, there's no backpack, you're transported into this world, and it's thrilling, and it's, ex it's exciting, and I can't think of all the amazing words for it, but I'm just really excited, and cannot wait for this competition. Now to the competition. Our contestants will play three games of Undead Arena in this state-of-the-art venue, in in hard mode. Together, the highest score of the three games wins it all. And if you're wondering what hard mode means, we're doubling the number of zombies typically seen in the game. It's gonna be brutal. Let's see how our finalists are feeling. Okay, so how are you gonna win it all? I, your competitors might be out there, but I'll keep it a secret. Okay. Uh, I just plan to be quick, rotate fast, uh, get the headshots, make sure the traps are set. Running between points though, maybe, just depends if what everyone else is doing, because if they're running as well, I don't want to bump into them too much. Well, maybe I do. So I have to find a new strategy, because I uh, always play alone, single player mode, and I think it's a very different game. When you stand alone, they come to you and, and spawn at your place, and if there are three guys in the room, they spawn everywhere. So I have to find a new strategy. Are you going to lean towards one weapon? Uh, shotgun seems to be the best. In general, if there is a good amount of zombies uh, upstairs, crossbow seems to be kind of a better choice. I'll just play by ear. No particular weapons, I have a method for quick switching them all, so I'm never have to stop to reload. So are you worried about hard mode at all? Uh, I am nervous in just the fact to like be here because performing is kind of nervous, nervousing, nerve wracking. But uh, in love that by the way. Is there anything that you want to say to the other competitors? Ooh. Uh, I come the long way from Austria here, and I will win this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hop into game one. An icer is in the lead, actually, starting strong, shooting, stealing traps and barrels, going into this game, guns blazing. Literally all of the guns. You can see him flipping through the weapons so he can quickly reload. You have to be strong with all of the weapons if this is going to be your approach, though. Okay, Max not too far behind icer. Hill solidly in third for this game. It does seem like Cody or Hill is trying to get a lay of the land while the other two are much more aggressive. Max just getting right in front of those spawn points though, taking no prisoners. Even stealing kills from Cody here. Oh, that hurts. He is steamrolling zombies right now with this shotgun though. Icer and Max are very close, but Gotta love Icer going front and center, eyes all over the map, flipping through weapons. This opposing Max's playstyle, though, Max is all over the map. Honestly, this is going to be a close one. We are into the final wave, and it is neck and neck between Max and Icer, and zombies are surrounding Max. He's nearing death, and dying in this game really puts you back. You're out of the game 10 seconds, and that's the last thing you want when you've got your opponents riding your tail. He's holding them off, though, and Max is victorious with a score over 60,000? How is anyone going to beat that? Max, where's your towel? You were sweating in there. <laughs> yeah, I put it away. <laughs> Not for the interview. <laughs> You're like, clean up a little bit. But you came out first in the first round. Yeah. How are you feeling? Yeah, very relaxed now. That's important in the first round to come up because now I come focusing stealing points. <laughs> Did anything fall apart or do you think that they just like came out super strong? Uh, they're both very good players and I decided to take more of a laid back role and just feel out the new mode and see their styles of play so I could try to adjust for the next round. What are you going to take into the next round? Uh, one of them likes to set off traps prematurely, so it's, uh, then you lose the, uh, the mental note of when the traps are active, so he gets, gets on top of those. Uh, so that's pretty good counterplay. And then he's also moving quick with the shock. Another guy's versatile with the weapons, so I'm not quite sure what to do. We're going to feel it out. <laughs> just play. Just play my best. They're both good, so it's... Yeah, it's going to play hard, but I didn't want to burn out first. You got edged out in the end. Yeah, I noticed that. I was... Rather a bit disappointing. I was first at the beginning, I was keeping track of it, and then fell behind the final part, so 
Got to step it up that right next time. What do you think happened there? It, it did seem like Max became more mobile and aggressive. Yeah, that fast, well, the final part's a lot more where you're moving around, so you've got to move 20 points. I think I stuck still too long, so next time I'm going to move a bit more. You and Icer were like neck and neck going back and forth. Going into the next round, are you going to be targeting him a little bit, trying to stop his game, or are you just going to focus on yours? What are you taking into the next round? Yes, I'm checking out to be near him, yeah. Now, to game two. Okay, Max going in 100 in game two, not letting off the gas after a high score of 60k in game one. That was incredible. He did tell us that he's going to stay close to Icer this game, and he certainly is. Icer out for revenge, though, determined to come out on top for game two, but how will he stifle Max's assertive play style? Hill, a.k.a. Cody, the cool tactician, edging into second place at times, definitely picking it up, but will it be enough? He's playing calm and collected, separating himself from the other opponents, taking the high ground solo. Game one, he came in third. In the post-game interview, he said he was taking notes. Well, it's game time now. He's got to step up. Icer continues to steal traps and barrels when he can, switching guns rapidly for ultimate DPS. No reload needed when using that tactic. He and Max keep fighting for first, switching spots constantly this game. Can he beat Max game two? The final wave is insane. Hill and Icer are trying to battle back against Max's aggressive physical play. Max is literally body blocking, stealing kills, and working the map. Max is on a roll here at the end. Oh my god, Max barely beats Icer! One last game to go. You guys were actually really, really close. You moved into the second spot for a little bit at 1.2. Can yeah. you break down what happened from your perspective? Max came over to my side and started bullying me out of there. So that's what happened there. Max, you bully? <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, I have to uh, compete with Icer, and it was a hard match. I think we changed uh, every minute. You are working the map. Um, honestly, you're sticking with the shotgun. That weapon requires a lot of work. Why are you sticking with the shotgun specifically? Uh, I tried all the weapons in my training, but uh, the shotgun was always the best, so I yeah, sticking into it. <laughs> I do want to talk about your strategy a little bit. It does seem like you're gun swapping a lot. Uh, the gun swapping is something I learned in this game because the weapons reload when you're not holding them. So I can hold the trigger down constantly, just always firing. Okay, what do you want to say to your competitors right before this last round? Uh, please keep going hard out. Don't go easy on me. The last and final round, game three. Who has what it takes to be the champion of the undead? Will it be Max the Real Pain? He's been a real pain to his opponents today with his aggressive, high stamina play style. Or will Hill be able to scheme a design to move him into first? Also, the flexible, adaptable Icer. Will Icer finally find a way to ice Max? Any of them could win it all. And Hill heating up off the get, blowing up all the traps and barrels in sight. This is a different approach for Hill. What is he planning for game three? This is our competitor's last chance. Tell me if I'm wrong, but I believe we are seeing intentional sabotage. Hill is taking the high ground. He's distancing himself from his competitors, stealing their traps and barrels from afar. Traps and barrels are typically a panic solution, and Hill is taking that option away from Icer and Max. They could get overwhelmed by massive amounts of zombies that they were so eager to get in front of, so we'll have to see. We saw this coming! There is limited traps or barrels to protect Max and Icer. Swarms of zombies are closing in. Icer's under heavy attack! Is he gonna go down? He's close to death. He's... he's dead. Oof, death is a brutal penalty in this game. Ten seconds of inactivity. Let's see how Max is doing. Ooh, Max is hurting too. The horde's all over him, and now he's dead too. Ooh, man. It looks like Hill's attempts to flood his opponents with zombies by stealing traps and barrels did lead to them both dying twice, but... It's not enough. It is not enough. Again, Max and Icer pulling ahead here in the final wave. But will Icer be able to surpass Max's 60k score in game one? I mean, oof. 
Max is fighting tooth and nail. They are neck and neck. The score going back and forth. But Max is slaughtering, and he is our champion of the undead. Max the Real Pain. Edged out just a little bit every round. Tell me, what's going through your head right now? And could you talk to us a little bit about Max's game? Why do you think he was just, like, barely able to beat you every time? I'm going to say he's just a little bit better than us. <laughs> Obviously not by much. We were very neck and neck every game, but I think he's just a little bit better than me. I mean, he sweat through, I think, three or four shirts, so... Oh yeah, three shirts. He's on his fourth now. What are you going to take away from all this? Uh, definitely having competition. It's really good as well, like neck and neck competition. It's really fun actually going against people who are on par with you. So, what are you going to do when you get home? Are you just going to practice, practice, practice? What's the future hold? Probably got ridiculed by my brothers first for losing. And then practice, yes. <laughs> I mean, you sweat through three or four shirts, I believe. You were body blocking out there. You were incredibly aggressive. You were working the whole map. Talk to me about your strategy today. You just seemed out for blood, zombie blood. <laughs> yeah, there wasn't much of zombie blood. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, in the last round, I don't know why, but uh, I died two times. And uh, I said did the same. <laughs> so that was my luck. Uh, but yeah, the last round was very heavy. Yeah. You both were neck and neck for a lot of the rounds. So why do you think you were able to just barely beat him? Um, I think uh, in the frequency, I'm a little bit faster than him. He is faster to find the zombies, but I'm faster to shoot them. <laughs> well, let's get the winner his check. $15,000 for the champion of the undead. Here's a big check. Okay, well, what are you thinking right now? You won! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's great. Um, yeah, I have no words for you. Um, <laughs> now I can buy my couch, a new couch. Uh, now I can uh, buy more sessions at Zero Latency Vienna. And now I can gamble a little bit in Las Vegas. <laughs> Anything that you want to say to the people watching at home? Um, yeah, come come to play this game. It's great. Um, check out the new outbreak. Uh, I will do it in a few minutes and uh, check out also the next competition and maybe we see us again in Vegas. <laughs> yes, hold up that check. <laughs> Woo! Well, that was fun. And now I get to try our zero latency VR's newest game, Outbreak. I heard it's kind of scary. <laughs> So that was absolutely wild. Big thank you to Zero Latency VR for putting on the champions of the Undead Grand Finals. Cannot wait to play more Undead Arena and Outbreak.